Hello guys, this is Liam Caddison here, but you already knew that, and today I am doing something that is not uh, the norm really for me, because this is the first time I've actually done something uh, like this, it's, the co it's my first ever collab, and I am joined with a great reactor himself, his name is Simon. Today we are reacting to Star Wars The Force Awakens Honest Trailer, um, this, like I said, this is something I've want, been wanting to be doing for quite a while. The following trailer is rated as for spoilers. But come on, you know you've already seen this movie. <laughs> From the company that owns everything you know and love, and Diet Spielberg, comes a movie that had to satisfy uh, decades yeah. of pinup nerd expectations, <laughs> make up for the prequels, introduce the franchise <laughs> to a new generation of fans, make enough money to justify Disney's $4 billion investment, <laughs> and also, you know, be good. So, <laughs> no pressure. Star Wars The Force Awakens. I actually really like this film. Force has awakened. Oh, I do. I, 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 is to it's a controversial opinion, but I do rate it higher than uh, The Empire Strikes Back. I was just sat in the cinema watching this with my just eyes hope. glued to the Who screen. Are you? I'm the original Honest Trailer voice, and the originals are always better. <laughs> yeah, you wish. Now pipe down. I've got the best movie of the year to talk about. Best? Oh, man. I'm not going anywhere. Someone has to stop you from going full fanboy. <laughs> uh oh, I've got a bad feeling about this. All your favorite characters are back for another adventure. There's a lot of fan service. Leia, Chewie, oh, and um, they all look um, really But a lot old. of people do <laughs> complain about it. Okay, about but these it. living legends are passing the torch to a new generation of heroes. Like Rey, an orphan scavenger who's so poor, she has to make her own Star Wars action figures. She's a multi <laughs> expert mechanic, slash ace pilot, slash force using badass. Who's <laughs> so good at everything, it makes her character completely uncomfortable. Compelling. <laughs> how dare you? I mean, come on. How is she so good at everything? Because, you know, she has the Force. Star Wars. Awakening. And the Force makes you awesome. <laughs> That's not how the Force works. <laughs> Shut up, Han Solo. God. <laughs> Ray's not the only one obsessed with Star Wars. Meet Kyle I Ren, the of them a rooting coming Jedi out. outcast, torn between his family legacy and the dark side. Never before has Star Wars had a villain so layered, so complex, <laughs> and so whiny. He acts like whiny. a goth kid who can't find his eyeliner. You know what? <laughs> if you're gonna keep butting in, why don't you just take over? Now we're talking. Gear up for a film so desperate to recapture the magic of the first Star uh, Wars. It practically is the first Star Wars. <laughs> featuring a desert orphan finding oh, a deep go. void oh, in the nation. And escapes the Empire thanks to the Millennium Falcon. Visits a shady cantina. Learns about the Force from a tiny alien. Of watches course. Watches a man in black kill oh. the mentor. Then helps destroy a Death Damn. Star by deactivating a shield generator so it. the X-Wings can make a trench run. It's another yeah, star. I mean, I didn't <laughs> mind, but... But it's so much more than a rehash of everything that made A New Hope great. It's got all new stories to tell, like Finn, a conflicted First Order Stormtrooper turned rebel, hunky badass Poe Dameron, <laughs> and don't forget Captain Phasma, Captain an awesome-looking Stormtrooper commander who's completely wasted in just 91 seconds of Nine, screen time. 91 <laughs> seconds. With her useless <laughs> character getting thrown Someone in the garbage. Yeah, I mean, I know she had a small role, but I didn't imagine it was that small. 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 As Abrams, small. 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 Abrams plants the seeds no, of questions that will drive fans wild with anticipation, like, who is Snoke? Who are Ray's parents? And why does R2-D2 suddenly wake up? Plus, <laughs> questions that will annoy the rest of the fans. Like, why does R2-D2 suddenly wake up? Why is everyone in the galaxy either a Skywalker or a Solo? And why would we expect the guy who made Lost to have good answers for any of these questions? Where'd you get that? A good oh. question for another time. Man, is there anything we can agree on about this movie? I don't know. How about on the count of three, we name our favorite parts. Ready? One, two, three. Kyle Ren stops a blaster bolt. bolt. Flying yeah. through a crash star destroyer. <laughs> Poe Dameron's beautiful face. Admiral <laughs> Akbar. Okay, now he's favorite. Yeah. Leia hugging Ray instead of Chewie after Han Solo dies. <laughs> Did we just become best friends? <laughs> yes. Starring. Lay AARP. Mare Sue. Butter Anakin. FN2187. <laughs> hey, that's my pin number. Han Polo. 
Emperor oh. Voldemort, R2-D2-2 <laughs> on so long. Oh. The least of the perfectly good, the ring cast, bad. the easiest money Mark Hamill ever made, <laughs> and butthole eyes, <laughs> Star Wars, a familiar host. Butthole eyes. <laughs> well, nice meeting you, other epic voice oh, guy. Dear. May the voice be with you. Hey guys, any reason why you didn't invite me? Who are you? I voiced the first ever Honest Trailer, remember? In 3D! Hey guys, don't forget about me. I did Avatar. Ooh, man, I love how you said blues. Blue. Blues, please. Blues. 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 Fast forwarding a bit into the future, hence uh, why I'm a bit wet on the top, uh, just coming out the shower and whatnot. Uh, but yeah, I, I've, um, I've, of course, you noticed that Simon's footage was a bit cut towards the end part. But um, yeah, we we've reacted to most of the trailer, so that's great. I guess four fifths of the trailer, uh, it was just the end part, the very very end part that got cut off. Uh, I think. So, but yeah, my thoughts in general, the trailer was pretty awesome. This is the first time I've reacted to an Honest trailer, and I've been wanting to get it out the way all summer. But I've been a bit busy myself, but thank God I've done this. And my first collab, so yeah, it was a bit nerve-wracking, because um, it's different from the norm, but I'm glad I did this first collab and first Honest trailer reaction, because it was really, really awesome. But um, so many great moments, especially Han so long that you, can, you nah that that was just that was just bad. Other parts I really loved as well was the comparisons to A New Hope as well. Like I know a lot of people give it give the movie crap because it's basically similar to the movie, but I don't know. I f I felt like it was a a pretty better job than A New Hope. Controversial opinion, but no. Uh, I don't know. I, I, I'm I fine with it, so there you go. Uh, anyways, I will not uh, lecture, uh, I'll not be lecturing anymore. Uh, I'll just close off. Follow the Reactors League. It's a, it's a really great community that we've got, the Reactors League, and we'll be posting a lot more collabs. We'll be posting a lot more of everything, basically, because the Reactors League, we want to provide the best entertainment. And yeah, I hope you guys stay tuned. I hope you guys follow the Reactors League, because... Yeah, we're, we're going to keep growing and we're going to keep entertaining you guys. So hopefully you were entertained by this video. And yeah, a uh, big shout out to Simon for this collab. He, it was really awesome reacting with him. And yeah, I'm hoping to react, to him, react with him in the future. So until then, I will see you guys next time. And be sure to continue supporting the Reactors League because we appreciate it a lot. So yeah, toodles.